Karma does not blame Charles. It was Harry and Meghan who kicked out the UK. This is the inevitable consequence of royal betrayal. Hello couple and welcome to our royal family news channel. Harry and Meghan are trying to convince us all they've been kicked out, but they both lost their chance to hang on to Frogmore Day after Harry hit the shelves. Indeed King Charles did not act Harry, and they had tried to warn Harry not to write about private conversations that he totally violated, and he had been told not to write negative stories about either Queen Camilla. Well, Harry told so many such nasty lies about Camilla in that stupid book. Really Harry ignored all the warnings since he married Meghan, so he probably thought his dad was a fat softy and nothing bad was going to happen to him and found out the day after the alternate outing that they were losing a contract on Frogmore they decided to announce that they've been kicked out now for people in the United States who just don't understand how the monarchy works and how houses are lent to working royals and only them the eviction con ye raise up images of being evicted while in residence against a poor person, this my friends is hardly an eviction. Harry and Meghan loved having free accommodation, as they breathed in the UK to look royal. Having a royal household also made them look like royals, or at the very least royals in the United States, who don't know any better. But Harry and Meghan fled the country for good and only spent a few nights at the Frogmore anyway. So, actually, it was a very smart move on King Charles's part. Harry and Meghan have ruined their relationship with every member of the royal family except Andrew, Beatrice and Eugene. Harry and Meghan didn't want to be nice to anyone else with Harry and me showing off. They should look as real as possible. So taking away their rental option was a way to make them seem less regal, which shows that the king is willing to hold Harry accountable for his bad behavior. Harry and Meghan still want everyone to feel sorry for them, just like they want everyone to refer. Lily bet on an American child like Princess Lily, but they can't be royals who don't work for the monarchy and expect full-time, or even part-time perks to publicly attack the monarchy like they had and such hatred just leaves people in the UK wanting to see them pay for what they did. It is their right, because the monarchy belongs to them. It does not belong to America. King Charles must answer to his subjects and cannot sit idly by while his son does so many horrible things, and in fact, the king's decision to remove more frogs was seen as a pretty little potato by most people in the UK. Indeed, they want to do more against the traitorous toxic CO. They won't be surprised if they then lose their titles, their place in the line of succession, and also the designation of Councillor of State, and probably even more to see if the people of the United Kingdom want their king to do these things. Charles needs to listen to his people and as far as Frogmore Cottage goes, well, Meghan didn't like the place anyway. Harry and Meghan were to move into a large apartment in Kensington Palace, a stone's throw from Prince William and Princess Catherine, but after catching Meghan wandering around their rooms and taking pictures of the rooms, Queen Elizabeth decided it was important to move them out of cotton away from the future. King Queen Consort The Queen of the Lake had such an amazing way of delivering messages, and as Meghan wanted to have a good time at Windsor Castle with the Queen she decided to gift them Frogmore, which is in Windsor and is quite close to Windsor Castle, and was the Frogmore cottage they realized they would never live in the Frogmore house. However, Meghan thought she was going to live in the Frogmore house, which is big and that's where her wedding reception was being held. Boy, he couldn't have been more wrong, Meghan and Harry still have a beautiful home that used to be the home of a queen consort, but for Meghan, a five-bedroom home just wasn't big or stylish enough for her. He hated this place and now King Charles must arrest the cheating couple for making the monarchy and the royal family their punching bags. Recall that Harry and Meghan while she could be Harry's wife replies the king. They do not constitute a law in their own right, and are not above any law, Meghan and Harry must behave and respect the rules established by the king. If any of you have ever felt sorry for Harry and Meghan, please do a little research on the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. It's a very interesting story that should have been heard by Harry and also by Meghan Markle. Now for what it's worth. The Duke of Windsor received a lifetime allowance, 
Dot.it started at 21,000 GP. That equates to nearly £1.5 million a year today, and a pound bought far more than today. They were also generously supported for their appearances at social and other functions. You see, the Duke had enough money to buy that Aladdin jewellery cave at Cartier in Paris for his wife, and there's no way he's abdicating the throne without unusually deep pockets and a bunch of piggy banks, because no one knows exactly how many. Brought with him, but it is estimated that it is a lot. There are also always these stories about his partnership, his friendship, or whatever you want to call it. The Germans in World War II reportedly included promises that they would restore him to the throne if they took Britain. Now, if these stories are true, we can probably also assume that the Windsors received some consideration from them as well. Now. Also, part of the way they got him out was to make him governor of the Bahamas for a while. And this is an advantage J. Dot, and what about Meghan and Harry? Well, we know one of them complained about being financially cut off in early 2020. But if you look at the Duchy of Cornwall's 2021 publicly available financial records from the Washington Post, you can see that Harry still got paid. Millions in this year alone. Now, does all of this really matter? Well no, not really, let them do whatever they want, whether it costs them respect and support or not, either way, they don't deserve anything. Now, I know I've said this before, but it bears repeating. Not all American women are like the Duchess of Windsor or Meghan Markle. Harry had his pick of women all over the world and if he wanted an American woman, there are plenty of smart, elegant, kind women who would happily accept being a royal. And they would like the responsibility, but not Harry seen with that. Brain in his pants instead of the one in his head, and it will never work out very well in the end. Whether you were a prince or a diary, it was pretty much the same, and we know what happened there. William didn't and look what he got. A beautiful, intelligent and elegant woman and three wonderful children. So, finally, Frogmore House is generally open to the public, it's not open since it's covered, but it's generally a museum and a concert hall. Harry and Meghan's tenancy officially ends this summer, he won't be kicked out or kicked out. He just doesn't have the renewed lease as landlord. The Crown Estate has other priorities than it should unless Harry can obtain other British property and pay tax on any British income in the UK and continues to have substantial ties to the UK United as well as a promise to return home, will not leave to be able to claim to be domiciled in the UK so can no longer be a councillor of state in you. What do you think of Harry and Macon? Please tell me your opinion below in the comment section, and we can discuss your thoughts and feelings as well. If you think my video forget to like it and share it with your friends and family, who will e enjoy it anytime. Click the button to get more videos from our team. Thank you so much for looking good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.